Hi, Mr. X with Glossary Term Distributive Property. We use this all the time. So I want to give you some fatherly advice, grandfatherly advice. I'm both a father and a grandfather. I'm going to give you some real advice here with this distributive property. Don't worry about the name distributive. Learn to multiply and it will be automatic. You must learn your facts of multiplication. You must learn your times tables. That's the key. The key to employ the distributive property is not understanding the distributive property as opposed to the associative property or the commutative property. It's learning how to multiply. Quick example. You see three parentheses x plus five close parentheses. That is exactly the same as 3 times x plus 5. And what that is equivalent to is 3 times the x plus 3 times the 5. Well, I never write all this, but that's what it is. I just write it down, and you should too. So here's what you should write. When you see this, you should go straight to this because 3 times x is 3x and 3 times 5 is 15 and you should be done just that fast. You should be able to go directly to 3x plus 15 because they're equivalent. 3 times the quantity x plus 5 is 3x plus 15. Learn to multiply. One more example. You see 7y in front of the parentheses y minus 6. We're going to multiply, and technically we're going to distribute. We're going to distribute the 7y over this binomial. Technically, this term distributes over addition or subtraction. It means, again, I never write this, but it means 7 times y times y. This 7y is the same as 7 times y. Now we multiply the 7, ti the seven times y times the y and times the negative 6. So here's our 7y times y. My advice to you is to keep the minus sign and then we have 7y times 6. This is everything that's going on in my head is this. But I never write this, ever, except to explain it. What's this going to be equal to? 7y squared minus 42y. I'm telling you, you want to be able to go from this directly to that. They are equivalent. 7 times y times y, that's that. 7 times y times negative 6. That's that. Learn to multiply. And to do this effectively, you must, you must, you must learn your basic facts of multiplication. You have to. If you're relying on a calculator, you're not going to master the distributive property. I guarantee it. Learn to multiply. On the World Wide Web at MrXMath.com.